All right, what's up guys? What is going on? They still have not admitted my wife and it is Sunday. So what we're gonna do today is <clears throat> I had the, the pool people come install a nice like four to 12 foot deep, real nice in-ground pool. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. So I'm gonna make an underwater video. I know a lot of you guys have seen underwater Senko videos, uh, but what I wanna do, I wanna use my favorite go-to lure, the missile bait destroyer. I want you guys to see what this looks like underwater. I really think you guys are going to enjoy it. If you've never used one, I highly recommend that you go pick them up. And I'm not sponsored or anything by Missile Baits, but I could be though. You know, Missile Bait hit me up. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so let's go check out this pool. I think you guys are going to like it. Not really what I ordered. I wanted the four to 12 foot with a diving board. And they gave me a 10 foot, three foot. Hey, we'll make it work. All right, two ways we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this with a weight. Well, this is a Wu Tungsten flipping weight, quarter ounce. Linked in the description below. Always plug, do it weighted, and then we'll do it weightless. All right, so first up on the test is gonna be the quarter ounce Wu Tungsten weight with the green pumpkin destroyer. We're gonna hop it like I would do on a, on a day where fishing is slow. A more subtle and a more uh, finesse type presentation. All right, so this is me hopping it, like I said, like I would do on a more finesse type presentation. And you can see all these appendages just flapping around everywhere. And that might be what entices those bass and, and what gets that reaction strike on those hot, sunny summer days when you're fishing around uh, structure. All right, so we covered the, the hopping, the skipping type presentation. I'm gonna go over how recently I've found a lot of success on the Missile Bait Destroyer is slow reeling it and getting those uh, two back legs just to flutter and kick. Uh, it seems like the bass really like that, especially if you're fishing near any kind of vegetation or anything like that, just off the grass line, or even through the grass line, depending on what size line you're fishing. Let's jump right into that. Let it sink to the bottom, just like you normally would. You're just slow reel and get all that kicking action. I've caught more fish here lately doing it this way rather than skipping. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change over. I'm gonna cut that weight off. I'm gonna use it weightless. Uh, I don't particularly like to fish weightless. Uh, I feel like I'm a power fisher. I'm too impatient to fish weightless, but if the situation calls for it, then I, I have no problem doing it. So let's jump right into the weightless missile bait destroyer. Weightless missile bait destroyer. Notice how the rate of descent is extremely slower with no um, weight on the end of it. These things are really light. One thing that I'm noticing that I haven't really noticed before is that the action is a little bit different. With the weight on it and the weight being able to pull it down, those uh, appendages, they tend to flutter more. And being weightless, they don't. So that's definitely something good to know. Again, we're gonna be hopping it just like we did the first time. Yeah, that's really different. Still looks good though, I would eat it. 
If I was a fish, I probably wouldn't have a jaw. I'd be caught so much. All right, so that was weightless. Uh, definitely, I expected something different. It doesn't have as much action weightless as uh, as it does, like I said, with a weight on it. Those are the little appendages, apparatuses, whatever they're called. They don't kick as much as I thought they would. So let's jump into the slow reel, or if you're gonna reel it in versus just skipping and hopping it. All right, so it looks like with the weightless, you still get the same amount of action. Uh, when you're reeling it in You just really can't feel it as good as you can with a tungsten weight All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Look, the CFO of Yak Pack Outdoors. Outdoors. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Let us earn your subscription. With this pool right here, see this pool? It's a 10 foot pool, so I can, I can do uh, quite a few different lures. Comment down below, let me know what you guys wanna see me uh, put in this pool. What kind of actions do you guys want to see? The Senko, I'll do the Senko if y'all want me to, but that's kind of played out. I think uh, everybody that has a pool has made a Senko video before, and I've not, I've never seen a Missile Bait Destroyer video. So definitely comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see. I have almost every type of soft plastic you can buy, I guess. And thanks for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and we'll catch you guys next time.